You guys are not going to believe this right now. I just found this guy under a piece of my tin. And this is the first snake I've got under this spot. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, okay. I get it. I cannot believe this. All right, he's pooping on me now. As you guys probably can tell, this is a water snake. He is really small. All right, I got him to coil. I don't know what he's doing with his tail up there, but. Oh, you gonna keep biting at me? Ooh, nicking my finger on that one. Really, really cool. Oh. Alright. Time to get you back under your tin, but hey, can you stop, please? Alright, buddy. Time to get you back under your tin. Alright, buddy, you ready? You gonna go? See ya. Alright, guys. It is a little bit cold sweatshirt weather I mean it's in like the upper 40s today it's pretty cold but I'm gonna go out and check some of my spots I'm gonna flip pretty much everything and then maybe do some rock flipping in the creek and I'll see what I can pick up no way dude are you kidding me right now guys I literally cannot even believe this right now Look at this guy. This is, I believe, my first Eastern milk snake. I literally am freaking out right now, guys. Look at how beautiful this creature is. All right, I'm going to, well, literally my hand is shaking right now. I cannot believe this right now. Look. All right, I'm gonna get some pictures of this guy. All righty, look at that. Pose, he's posing nicely for me. <laughs> Super duper cool, guys. He's in strike mode now. Whoa! Alrighty. <laughs> I bet. I guess it's time to uh, get this guy back under his board. Alright, buddy. These guys have such smooth, uh, just scales, and it's, they're really, like, soft feeling. Well, let's, uh, I'll leave this guy back to hanging out with his termite friends, or, I mean, uh, fire ant friends. Don't go away, buddy. And don't get eaten, either. Hey there, buddy. Someone tried to eat you, huh? 19. 19 salamanders just under this small log. That is insane. Just look at all these guys. Alright, so I've just pulled some tin that's caught up in these trees. And I'm breaking it into smaller chunks. And I'm going to set it out in these sunny spots. And then... I got a new spot. All right guys, I am now walking the creek and as you can see, it's pretty dried up. Really hoping to pick up a turtle today. There are usually are box turtles and sliders and stuff hanging out in here, but I'm gonna try to <clears throat> get out down this uh, creek and see if anybody is hanging out. Who we have here. Nice Eastern box turtle, first thing of the day. Pretty, uh normal size for these guys I've seen them get a lot bigger than this but uh pretty pretty cool I might just leave this guy here and uh just keep going I was hoping to see one of these guys today pretty cool how you doing buddy let's go gray rat snake boys guys 
this is my first adult gray rat snake and I am thrilled right now super duper cool I love these guys so much and I'm super glad I just found this guy over here in this board pile I've been checking every once in a while but guys oh my goodness this is insane super duper cool he's getting a little defensive now and you can see his eyes are glazed over which means he's going into shed so he can't see really great right now but I still very much do not want to take a bite from this guy even though he's not uh, full grown it still would hurt a lot yeah he is not looking happy right now he is uh not looking very happy uh, even though it doesn't look like it uh, rat snakes are one of the most docile snake species uh, but this guy because his eyes are glazed over like I said earlier he can't see as well as he would normally and so he's extra angry but whoa pretty pretty cool I've been looking for these uh, snakes for ever since I moved here in June, and this is my first adult, so I am super excited. All right, I got him back in hand, and, uh-oh, this does not look good. Please don't bite me, buddy. These guys have ins- oh no, he's gonna bite me. No, come on. Ah, 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 okay. All right, I'm gonna show you guys something really cool about these guys is how they're good climbers. There he goes. Come on, buddy. You can go a little bit faster. There he goes. And they have the ability to actually, if you look at his stomach down here, He's almost grabbing onto the um, sticks and leaves. Their stomach is actually can actually grab onto stuff almost, and it's really really cool. But as you can see, that bite didn't look super bad, but it is a little bit painful and it yields a little bit of blood. So. You should never be afraid of these guys though because they are insanely helpful to the environment. They like eat tons and tons of mice and rats and uh, I'm sure that's what he was looking for when he came to this pile is uh, for mice and rats. And I know from past experiences these boards have a lot of uh, bundles of uh, straw and stuff that mice have brought under here so there is mice activity here. but. Overall, he is really helpful to the environment. And if you see one of these guys, do not kill it. They are insanely helpful to the environment. So if you see one, just avoid it and it'll avoid you. Especially if you live on a farm. These farm, these guys are so helpful to keeping uh, mice and rats out of your grain. So I would never uh, recommend killing any of these uh, species like rat snakes because they are insanely productive and they really really help the environment so pretty cool I'm gonna get this guy back under his boards I just wanted to show you guys how good of climbers these guys are but super excited I honestly wish I could hang out with this guy all day but I gotta get back to uh, looking for more guys so I am completely satisfied with uh, just this guy in a box turtle today so pretty cool all right I'm gonna get this guy down it was a bit of a struggle, but I managed to get this guy down. I had to use a stick, but... Oh, come on, dude. Are you not gonna... Seriously? Bro. So now, he's actually rattling his tail, which is a defense mechanism, and if uh, these guys are by leaves, it sounds like a rattlesnake a little bit, and so that's another reason why these guys are commonly killed, but it's pretty cool that he's actually wiggling his tail. Bro, I seriously don't want to get bit again. Can you stop? 
All right, I'll see if I can just chase him back into there. But overall, I'm super happy with this. And uh, I hopefully I'll be seeing this guy again sometime. There we go. There you go, buddy. Go. Go on. All righty. Super duper cool. That's exactly how I saw him sticking out of there like that. Super cool, guys. Alrighty, I'm gonna get back to uh, looking for things. Hey, just after uh, I flipped those things over there and got that rat snake, it's another box turtle. And this guy <laughs> is actually really, really small. I've never seen one this small before. He's literally, he just sits in my hand. Oh, man. Looks like somebody got to this guy. Was that rat snake trying to eat you? And looks like he even lost an eye. Man, you're pretty beat up, buddy. All right, I'm gonna leave this guy right here and hopefully he doesn't get eaten. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I had an absolute blast with it. It's raining a little bit now, but uh, I had an absolute blast. It was so much fun to do, uh, especially just finding all the snakes. And I'm super happy because hopefully this means snakes are coming out. And uh, I'm just super, super stoked that I saw this much snakes this week. So thank you guys again for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment below. And also ring that bell so you know when we uh, create another video. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. Peace out. And hopefully this means more snakes this year.